Greetings, fellow vapers. Today with CMB Review, we're going to be reviewing the Vape Forward 26 650 box. The box is variable wattage, variable temperature control. It includes a USB cable, a user manual, a warranty card, and the Vapor Flask Stout. It's a 100 watt maximum power output and has temperature control support including nickel, titanium, and stainless. It's a pretty state of the art device, something that we kind of exclusively carry, we haven't seen very much in our area. Opening it up, it's got some weight to it. Definitely feels like a quality mod. The battery door is on the bottom. That's where the tank screws in. The battery door pops to the side, sticks in place. It's pretty quality. It feels, it feels real tight. When it shuts, it locks in. Feels real good. Inside, there's an adapter for an 18650 battery. That way, I guess you can run either or. Today, we'll just put this one to the side. I have an Emrin 26650, 5500 milliamp hour output. Pretty heavy duty battery. We don't use these in most vapes. Battery door shuts on it. Adds a lot of weight to the mod. Right now it's set on wattage. From this point it pretty much works like everything else. Three clips. Goes to wattage. Three clicks. Three more clicks. Oh, turned it off. Let's turn it back on. I know what I'm doing wrong. Three clicks, get a wattage, hit the over, bypass, temperature, temperature for titanium, temperature for stainless steel, and back to wattage. Around 55 watts, goes all the way up to 100 watts. Like so, all the way back down, probably something real low, goes all the way down to one watt, definitely wouldn't fire anything you were vaping nowadays, it's got a good round feel to it, size of it's pretty good, just so we can see it fire today, we're going to use a Smoke TFE4 Micro. It's got the extended glass on it and the cool little flute tip smoke added on with the product. And we're going to do a little off camera vaping action here. Of course, I should turn it up from one watt. We'll just turn this up a little bit. 44 watt, good enough. Make a little bit of vape. There we go. Now we're vaping. Also included in the box, as mentioned on the box, the packaging for it's pretty cool. There's some real thick foam. Inside, looks the same as the outside of the box, same logo. And here's your USB cable. Nice little authentication card. And last but not least, the user manual. Otherwise, that's about it. Pretty simplified. Just a simple box review. Hopefully this was able to help you out. If you have any questions, just... Look us up on Facebook, CMB Vapor. You can message us anytime, ask us any questions. And uh, 
If you're interested in a 26650 variable mod, this is definitely something that's real stand up. I have one myself, I drop it off them, it holds up really well, and the battery door is really secure. You don't get a lot of unintended popping open. It locks in pretty good. You actually got to push down on it a little when you shut it so that it hits a tab. And then it's good to go. And it's also a very impressive looking mod. Uh, if you're interested, just hit us up at CMB. And this is CMB Review with another review out. Vape on, my friends.